Put it right on its head. Oh, go back. Iguanas. They're magically delicious. <laughs> String this uh, power cord on it like that. Super easy. And you can use any kind of fishing rod for this, but we use this uh, cane pole, like you said. We're gonna tie this right here. And uh, I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna show you all about this. This is really cool, it's really fun. This is the catch pole. This is my favorite way of catching iguanas. Okay. The catch pole 3000. <laughs> right here, we have an iguana snare. This is a snare. Okay, this is the snare. Yep, that is And I'm assuming that we are gonna put this snare at the end of this pole. We're probably gonna give it about maybe 10 feet of slack. Uh, yeah, give or less. And then, the whole thing is you want to try to put this on the iguana's head. Okay. Right? Like, kind of like a lasso. And then once you do that, then the fun begins. So look, I'll show you real quick. Look. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay, if you tied it on the end, I don't see how we're going to actually contract. Oh, when you pull it up, it's going to contract. So look, we pull it tight like this. Just like that. Just like that, pull it like that, and then put your hand out, and then put it like that, and then boom. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna. <laughs> so it's almost like fly fishing. When you cast it, you gotta pull yep. your string. Yep, yep, yep. Your... It's, 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 it's kind of like a combination of different type of hunting tactics, but it's its its own very own thing. But I think the best way for us to uh, demonstrate uh, this is to obviously show it to you. Yes. We understand it. I'm ready. So let's go Let's go to the job right now, see if any of the iguanas are out. And then we're going to be back later because right now the iguanas are still asleep. Okay. So we are scheduled to do a removal here, but they're not here, so we're going to have to give them, you know, okay. let them, you know, they probably, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't had their morning coffee. Exactly. So let's go. Right, let's, go for, let's go for some meat, right? second guess if they're tired and then you want to grab them right behind the shoulder just like that and we put them in the bag yeah okay. now i want to do it now okay my turn let me grab okay, this so what, how do we, uh, i'll show you okay do you hold them no, I don't want and then look so you pull this pull this right here like that okay. now lift it over them make sure you're away from his mouth just like that okay nice one nice. if he could bite me i'm sure he would bite me <laughs> I'll hold this guy and then I'll get you ready for one of these ones that are down there. There's a bunch of Got him. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Good way to grab them, Yoki. So if you if you ever are handling by yourself, grab the back legs like this. Oh, whoa, this one is very. Grab the back legs. Like that, yep. And then you can just go grab them. Yep. Back legs control all the power on them. Put them in the bag. Hey, you want to see your friend? Hi, friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we got Ooh, another one out there. So. Yep. Uh, enough playing and yep. back to work. I got that. And I'll give you this. What you got to do, right?
think you got him. Hey, no. hey, she's a natural. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Can see that? And then there's two. Oh, there's another one. We want to get top. We got to get them. Oh, oh. The thing with the snare is like it's like it's that kind of chest. You gotta kind yes. of match what they do. And I, I, I would say I enjoy this better than actually shooting. <laughs> this you actually you're working for it. Oh yeah. I like it. And you can see it's very effective too, right? Very effective. Very effective right there. But this is very nice because you see how they're right next to the water, right? Yeah. It's a split second decision whether you catch them or they escape. So just like that, you just caught three back to back that were right next to the water. Yes. So. For your first time, I mean, you definitely are a natural. You gotta be quiet and quick. Y'all probably saying, what is she doing? Why is she breathing so hard? It's the adrenaline. <laughs> this is, it may not seem like anything, but it, it's it's just succeeding, success. This is success. Just like you that. You know, and just hey, like that. I'm ready. No, absolutely. Well, Let's go get some of one. Check this out, okay? The same, now you caught the small ones. That's kind of cool, but we're going to go to an area that might have bigger ones. I want some alphas. Yeah, some big alphas. Yes. Ones that are like probably like 20, 30 pounds. Oh, then I'm going to have to switch hands then. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, they playing possum right now, but we got four and we got to get 40 more. Exactly, exactly. So these iguanas, we caught them live. The rules are though, since they are invasive species, they do have to be put down. None of these animals can be uh, re-released, relocated. We're gonna have to euthanize them off camera. But uh, we just wanted to give you guys that FYI. But real quick, check it out. Just like that, in a matter of what, 10 minutes? Yes. <laughs> we got four of them. <laughs> Nicely I'm done, Yogi. I'm so excited, thank you. Nicely, oh. Oh yeah, I know, I'm looking at that one over there. Can... three of them there. He's on the other side. Let's put it right on his head. Oh, go back. Head to the right. So once you just put the pole right in front of him, you should definitely just should get this one. But he's gonna do. Um, so I would say try to get like behind him, so that way when you pull him out, he's not like getting tangled between the rope and the tire. All right, guys, that's just this is a little more. Yeah, it, it gets more. <laughs> or if right here is good for you, try it. Use the full extension of the pole to your will. Check this out, y'all. These guanas are claiming territory in these residential areas underneath cars. We got Yoki right here. She's going to see if she can finesse this iguana. He's out. It's all right. Just walk right in front of him.
Just use that full extension. Like go in front of him, walk in front of him. Yeah. And just try to sneak it on him. Difficulty just went yeah. just went up. Yeah. So you, you so it's it's just like chess. You just gotta you just gotta be play like go in front of them and like just try to walk past them and just try to you know. All yeah, it's all it's all it's all a game for them. It's all good. That was good. That was good. Nah. Next time, when you're that when you're that close, try to go a little bit lower. No yeah, so you don't seem as big. Okay. You got really close to him. Yeah. There he goes right there. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, but he knew he knew we were on for him. Yeah. So, I'll be back for you. Don't worry. Absolutely. But um, follow me because we are going to another spot that has a giant. All right. Those silly iguanas oh, outsmarted man. us at the end. Boy. But huge shout out to our friend Yoki from the Yoke Gang for coming out here and helping me on this iguana removal job. You guys enjoyed the content, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned because we're going to the other job that has the giants. See ya!